Hello, I'm Michael Diamond. You're watching Muscle Central Talk Television on YouTube. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. All right, the 2022 Olympia, less than 24 hours away. Uh, let me give some final thoughts on this. Let's start off with the classic physique. In the classic physique, we had some interesting turn of events at the weigh-in. Not one, but two competitors had issues with the weight. The first one was Terrence Ruffin, which was, he was over by a pound. Uh, we saw him, uh, saw some footage of him going up and down some steps for a little while. And he came back an hour later and he made the weight. We had uh, Ramon Dino. Now, this was a, a really fucked up situation because uh, he comes in. Now, in all his pro shows, every show they do, they take the height again. And in all of his pro shows, he came in at the same height. Somehow, when they measured his height, he came in a little shorter than he's done in the past. That changes the weight you got to be. Goes back to his room. He's trying desperately to lose weight, running in place for 45 minutes. I can drop an ounce. He's as dry as can be. They go back, and Chris Aceto, his prep coach, uh, steps forward, opens his mouth, and says, hey, he's always measured at this certain height. How is he shorter? Let's, let's measure him again. They measure him again, and sure enough, he was the height that he was at the other shows. He uh, uh, miraculously... Grew what it was it a half an inch in an hour? No, he was measured wrong. Uh, they need to change that whole process. Once you turn pro, you should be your height's taken and it's official and it's on your pro card. So now any show you go to, your height doesn't have to be measured again. You don't. You don't grow and shrink from show to show. All you got to do is make the weight for your height. You got to wonder what type of effect this can have on our bodies. Not so much Terrence. Uh, it was a, a pound and he seemed to do it very easily. But in Ramon's case, he, had, he was dry as could be. And uh, he tried tried in vain and he couldn't even drop an ounce so you, you gotta wonder what kind of effect that could have on his body when he gets in stage and 212 uh, Keon Pearson just seen some pictures of him a day out and I know we see pictures all the time before the show and what they look like Stepping on stage could be two totally different things. But if he comes in with conditioning, anything like what I saw in his most recent image of him, with his shape, structure, uh, muscle bellies, and that, can, that type of conditioning, uh, it's going to be... Uh, a win for him, I don't see it any any other way. I don't see anybody as good as Sean Clarita is, and I'm a big Sean Clarita fan. I don't see Sean Clarita or Kamala Gardner beating that peon. But once again, we never know until they step on stage. Uh, with the open division... I was watching a, a podcast uh, and Steve Weinberger 
was on there uh, breaking down the top uh, competitors. And I found very interesting. He made it very clear that last year, Rami narrowly escaped with the uh, with the Olympia title. It was a very, very close uh, race between him and Brandon Curry. He also uh, laid out a few different scenarios on how Rami could lose. So obviously the head judge doesn't see Rami as being invincible. And something else he said that at first might not seem related, but made me think a little bit. When he was uh, assessing Derek Lunsford, he mentioned that at the Pittsburgh Pro, Jim Mannion's show, which Rami was supposed to be a guest poser, did a no-show, Derek Lunsford was asked to if he can step on stage and participate. And he did, and Steve Weinbarger talked about how he was blown away by uh, Derek. But what I'm getting at is he made a point that Derek was not scheduled to be a guest poser. Rami did a no-show, and Jim Mannion asked him, and Steve Weinberger says, you don't say no to Jim Mannion. So, okay, yeah, it's not because he he's going to hurt you or anything. Out of respect uh, for Jim Mannion, you don't say no. And Rami... Not all, uh, didn't just say no, he did a no show. You gotta wonder whether, uh, that's gonna be lingering in the back of the judges' minds. That shouldn't, but, uh, they're humans and it's just human nature. Let me just round, uh, round out this video with my placings for the three divisions. Classic physique. I have Chris Bumstead once again winning, taking his fourth Classic physique Olympia title. Terrence Ruffin second. Ramon Dino third. Erz, Erz Kalasinski fourth. Brian Asley fifth. Logan Franklin sixth. 212, I have Keon Pearson surprising a lot of people, bringing it, taking first place honors. Uh, Sean Clarita, once again, unfortunately, I say unfortunately because I am a Sean Clarita fan. Sean Clarita, second. Uh, Kamala Gogni third, Sean Clarita and Kamala Gogni, both former 212 champions. Fourth, Angel Calderon. And fifth, Ahmad Ashkanani. <clears throat> Excuse me. For the Open, we have Big Rami first place, Nick Walker second, William Bonac third. Hadi Chupan, fourth, Brandon Curry, fifth, and Samson Dowda, sixth. All right, that's uh, about it for this video. If you agree or disagree with anything I've said, please let me know in the comments section. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share. By all means, subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified also in the description box. There are links there. One link is to the Facebook Muscle Central page. Any questions, go there. 
DM me, I'd be happy to answer them. There are links to Species Nutrition, Mr. G's Protein Snacks. Click on both those links, go to both those websites, check out all their great products. Once again, this is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.